I'm here at the World of Owls near Randallstown in County Antrim, where vandals have deliberately and quite blatantly slashed open a number of the aviaries, causing at least 18 birds to escape. And if you just look up behind me, you'll see one of the escaped birds just up in the trees there. Well, uh, at some point on Sunday night, someone has entered the ground and cut open all but two of our aviaries. It's around 32 altogether. And has obviously tried to release all the birds. They've sliced the netting right the way around here, down the actual side of the panel, unhooked the wire, and actually they had this folded up around here so the bird could get out. So they can, and even here, they've sliced this every all the way from this corner, down to the very bottom, rolled up the netting, and pinned this back to this other netting so the birds could escape. And, uh, even on this barn alley every here, it was right from the top, right down to this corner and again it was folded back down so the bird could escape thankfully he didn't and on the vulture they've, they've either used one of our ladders or they've went on their the shoulders they, they cut it right up at the top there the, where that panel of wood is right down to here so they have it's just massive amounts of damage it's going to run into the thousands to repair all this so it is and every 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 apart from two was cut in this way. So it was massive holes, wire clipped off, rolled back, all that. Some of the birds which were set free feature in the charity's display team, which raises vital funds through school visits and show events throughout the year. I'm struggling to comprehend what the motive could possibly be. We, as far as I'm aware, we have no enemies in this country. Who we're an animal sanctuary. We've rescued all these birds. So why people would take offence to our work, I'm not quite sure. I'm just in shock about the whole ordeal. Like, uh, I'm not worried about the monetary value of the birds, I'm just worried about their welfare. They've never known the wild, since they've all been rescued pets. They've been fed from a bucket their whole life, they don't know how to hunt. And within a week, the wild start to starve. Like, even the one I caught this morning has already lost weight and he's only been out two days. Though he has, so uh, within a week, the small ones could be dead. And I believe uh, you were telling me earlier that, that, that some of the ones that escaped, you'd hand-reared them? Yes, two Bengali gulls from India that escaped. I actually hand-reared them pair myself here. So basically two months' work has been let out the door, basically. And so I'm really worried for their safety, because especially being hand-reared, they might... They're not too comfortable around humans, but they don't have any instincts whatsoever. They used to jump up my lap for hugs. That's how wild these birds are, so they have no idea how to hunt. I hand fed them for the first month, then they were able to pick up food themselves after that. So they've no idea how to catch live foods. I first heard about it yesterday, I uh, actually seen it on Facebook and I, I was very disappointed and uh, I was actually shocked because I've known Mike since he's come here 10 years ago. As I said, he, he had to jump through hoops and a lot of red tapes to get the place set up in the first place through council and through funding and all the rest of it. And he basically depends on donations and and volunteers to run the place, so it's actually a big devastation for the volunteers themselves. And it's a great tourist facility for well, the borough. It's a great tourist facility for the borough, definitely, no question about it. It's, it's, uh, the council has it in their visitor maps and all the rest of it to bring people to Randallstown to this part of the borough where normally people would stay in Antrim and like, uh, the castle grounds and places like that there, but the world of Isles is something different. If any member of the public spots one of the one of the birds, what should they do? Uh, if you just contact World of Oils or the PSNI and let them know the area, and we will check it out if it is a reasonable distance away from us. And uh, basically, if you do see one, don't try and apprehend it yourself. They aren't very aggressive birds. They are have escaped, but uh, every animal has a limit, and they can do some damage. And tell me, talking about damage, just. Can you put a figure on, on, on the damage here? It's in the thousands, so I'll need to go into calculations and all the how much netting I will need, but we will be talking a few thousand pounds to replace all the netting. And so can people practically help by donating netting or oh, things? Oh, can if people want to donate netting, like any tools, staple guns, even, even a packet of staples is useful. Well, it's anything like that it will help us get there, but it is going to take months for us to recover from this. So it is a devastating blow. And of course, just right at the start of the summer too. Yep, it just happened, we're peak time of year and we're having to spend thousands now replacing the whole aviary. So as even two weeks after our zoo inspection as well. So the place was in the best condition it could have been. Now we're back down to square one. Anyone who would like to support the World of Owls can do so through Danske Bank, account number 808761, sort code 950431. For more information, visit www.worldofowls.com or telephone 028 
9447 2307.